welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. Checking out the magnificent Martin D18 today. This legendary guitar sports a Sika spruce top and mahogany back and sides for a characteristic warm tone that you'll hear. Uh, we'll give you a full performance demo. We'll put it on the bench and collect specs, but remember at the top, we are giving away a Martin D28 when we hit 100,000 subscribers. To win that guitar, hit subscribe now, turn on notifications and enter using the Gleam link, all of that in the description. And by the way, if you're in the market to buy any new gear, click to buy new gear using our link. You're gonna support our channel, but you're gonna have access to easy payment plans that makes buying a new Martin guitar that much easier. And I'll tell you what, you're gonna get fast free shipping and it makes a big difference to us, helps us make these demos. So thank you for buying new gear using our link. And our European friends, you can now shop on Toman Music. That link is in the description, we teamed up with them. All right, without further ado, let's take a first look at the Martin D18. I'm super excited about this one. Oh boy. We love Martin guitars here. Check this out, the D18. It's got an ebony fretboard, Sika spruce top, full gloss finish, nitro finish. Uh, what I love though about the neck is they have kind of a satin gloss finish on the neck, which feels really comfortable. You can almost see the color difference between the full gloss on the mahogany back and sides. Classic appointments, you got these open gear Grover tuners. And uh, in the new construction, latest iterations of these models for the past however many years, they have an X brace that's a little bit forward shifted. Uh, and a more modern neck feel, uh, slightly wider nut as well, this one with a bow nut. So we'll take a few more measurements on the bench, but you're gonna get a full performance demo and wait till you hear this. This guitar sounds fantastic. Sounds as good, if not better than it looks. So let's check it out. All right, that iconic Martin headstock with the black and gold Martin Co. established 1833 logo. Flipping the headstock over, you can get a check of the open Grover gear tuners, which are very nice. Again, a satin feel on the neck, and this is a more modern neck shape. We'll get a reading, we'll get a measurement in just a second. And then it opens up to this full nitro gloss finish, mahogany back and sides, the key characteristic of a D18. And then this beautiful Sitka spruce top also with a gloss finish, forward shifted X bracing, and uh, just a beautiful guitar. Check out the ebony fretboard. I like the understated dot inlays, but they're made of, you can see the pearl, against the ebony looks beautiful. Let's get these strings out of the way and get some measurements. You have a bow nut at 1.75 inches. You have a first fret at 0.82 inches, up to a ninth fret at 0.88 inches. A couple cosmetic upgrades on the D28 and appointments here. You see the binding is different. This has a more of a multi-ply uh, cream and black binding. And this has, um, it has a cream and black binding, but it's more pronounced as a black binding on the D18, which looks nice. A few extra bindings on the rosette as well. And then flipping over the back, you can see the difference. I'll show you the difference between the East Indian rosewood here on the left and the mahogany here. Two piece of mahogany back is joined a little bit more simply, whereas you have this more elaborate joint here uh, for the East Indian Rosewood on the D28. One more cool feature uh, I love, and this is still done by hand, check out the carved volute. You'll find the volute on the D28 and uh, you will not on the D18. Looks like the body thickness comes in about four and five eighths inches. The D18 weighs in at exactly four pounds. A thing of beauty. All right, flipping it around for an initial reaction. I love the satin feel on the neck. Oh. Such a good sound. It is so hard to beat that. Such, I could just sit here and do this all day. It is such a blanket of sound, amazing sound. Remember, if you're in the market for this guitar or any other gear, click to buy new gear using our link. You'll find that in the description or pinned in the comments. And uh, be in it to win it. We're giving away that D28. Remember, enter on Gleam and hit subscribe now. Now comes the fun part. Let's hear this guitar in action. Uh, we'll give you a full performance and I'll see you on the other side for a final score. See you there.
I'm like a broken record. I just say wow when I play these Martins and you stuck with me to the end. Hope you enjoyed that performance. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Martin D18. What an incredible guitar. It's such a legendary guitar as well. And you can really hear there's almost like an analog warmth. It's like comparing like vinyl to a CD or something versus the D28. You can check out our comparison video and you can see the head to head in that video. But focusing just on the D18, I loved the warm blanket that this guitar wraps you in. It has volume, it has projection, but it's not over the top. I can hear all my single note lines, and then when you thump into it and you wanna push it, it gives you this huge warm bass response that I just absolutely love out of the mahogany back and sides. Since you stuck with me to the end, I'll give you a final score. I base my final score based on three main categories, overall playability, overall sound, overall value. The overall playability of this guitar was flawless. I'm gonna to get to the final score in a second. But the playing experience was flawless. The nitro finish, it's kind of like a satin gloss finish. Uh, the neck shape is perfect. They've tweaked these models to really give a modern performance edge to these classic designs. Uh, they have the forward shifted X bracing that they're doing on these models now. And uh, that lends to sound, but purely based on playability, I like that big body dreadnought, the way it sits. And the neck, it really comes down to the neck on these, right? Uh, the neck was super comfortable, high praise for the playability. When it comes to overall sound, the last time I did a Martin demo, we did the D28, and that set a benchmark. Uh, this D18 might be setting a new benchmark, we'll see, in sound. Because again, where the D28 gives you total crystal clarity and transparency, this guitar is giving you such a warmth and such an extra bit in the low end. It's not overpowering, it's not too much. It just makes you listen to it and it makes you wanna play and it's something to be heard. And this guitar was something to be heard. It sounded incredible. Overall value, this comes in at $27.99. You can also buy the satin finish. And actually the satin finish to my ear does sound a little bit different than the gloss finish. There's less nitro finish on there so you can kind of compare for yourself. We'll get a demo on that as well. But for the gloss finish at $27.99, it's about $400 less than the D28. So it's called a good value. It's made in the Nazareth, Pennsylvania Martin factory. It comes with a hard shell case. It does not come with electronics. So just keep in mind, you either have to add a pickup or use a microphone. But I'll tell you what, because I benchmarked our Martin D28 at 9.5, can't believe I'm saying this, but we have a new benchmark in terms of overall just love for a guitar, I've got a notch by one little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and benchmark the Martin D18 at 9.6. Now, where it doesn't have the absolute crystal clear transparency of the D28, it gives you something else in warm character that just can't be matched, I think, by any other guitar, and this is a phenomenal playing and sounding guitar. Hands down, my new benchmark, you can really just say the two to beat are the D28 and the D18. I'm gonna give a 10th of a point to the D18 because if I had to pick one, if I had to pick one, I'm benchmarking the Martin D18 as my new acoustic guitar to beat. Incredible playing and sounding guitar. If you're in the market for that, click to buy this guitar, any new gear using our links. Uh, when you click to buy using our links, you're gonna get easy payment plans too. So if you're buying a guitar at $27.99, it makes it a lot easier when you have those payment plans. You also get fast free shipping and you support us directly when you buy gear using our link, any gear. So click that in the description. Be in it to win it, we're giving away a Martin D28, the one that you've seen in our demos when we hit 100,000 subscribers. Whew, and that is a legend in itself. You can check out our head-to-head -head comparison of these two guitars. That was really fun as well. Be in it to win it by subscribing now, turning on notifications, and enter using the Gleam entry link in the description. All of our European friends, you can now also click our Toman music link to buy gear. And you can support our channel directly when you buy through Toman as well if you're in Europe. Thanks so much for all your support. Drop a comment and we'll see you on the next video. I'm John, that's Zach, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. Take care. You know how you can justify that score is like playability, probably the same 9.5. Tone, even though it's different, probably the same 9.5. But value? Yeah, saving like, 400 bucks, right? Like 9.8 on that value. That's a great point. Yeah, I think I think value is where it would edge out. That's for sure. So what would you give it in terms of the three? You think nine, nine five, nine, nine five, five, nine eight. So somewhere in there you end up around nine six. That's a great point. Yeah, we'll go with that. And hey, they're both incredible, but you're saving 400 bucks with the D18. That's because rosewood is more expensive than mahogany. And that's really all it comes down to. Different characteristics of tone. Check out our head to head. That was fun. See you next time.